Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Steven here with Big Block 402. And today is October 2nd, the day after the No Name Nationals. <clears throat> Had a wonderful time at No Name Nationals. Went a lot of rounds racing. Put old Candy Cane uh, in the, in the uh, staging lanes many times and had a blast. Um, took the Mustang with me, which is right over there. In old Mongrel's garage, Brent, he, he ran the crap out of the Mustang. The Mustang performed phenomenally. It's a, it is a stock 21 Mustang GT, and so it's very consistent. In a, in a bracket racing yesterday, or day before yesterday, we uh, I, I don't know, there's probably 50 cars or so in the bracket racing. I went three rounds in my truck, and I got put out, and then Brent went all the way to the number three spot in bracket racing in the mustang so there wasn't very many fords at uh no name nationals but the ford mustang represented all the way to uh <clears throat> the third spot the third uh, place in the bracket racing and um then we had the burnout competition and we all done the everybody participated in it we had a good time doing that it, my burnout started off really good but uh, <clears throat> my transmission kept ship shifting into second gear once it warmed, once the tires got hot. So it would downshift and then upshift and downshift. So it didn't do as I wanted it to do. And that's probably due to the uh, transmission linkage. I got it all out of whack. When I changed that pan out and put the deep pan on here, I never got my linkage adjusted correctly. <clears throat> no big deal. I had a great time. I did... Uh, you know, I didn't burn them completely off, but there's a little carnage there on the tires. So they they burnt enough to start peeling apart. I wanted to get them completely off, but uh, anyway, we got wind blowing. Wind's always blowing out here where I live, so <clears throat> got a lot of it done. And then yesterday, uh, you know, I was the slowest vehicle, but I registered in the 10.5 class or 28.10.5 small tire class. I was going for points, um, you know, because I was in the monkey bike class also. So I was doing every event, going to point, going for points, trying to win the overall <clears throat> no-name national trophy. And uh, so the first round of the small tire, I was paired up. I drew, I drew, I drew Chip 1R, which put me in the right lane against the James and James Show and their fast Chevy Nova. And unfortunately, as they staged the car they blew a fuse on the fuel pump and didn't find it right away so i got the uh win in that on a technicality as um, soon as we got back to the pits they found a blown fuse and they were ready to go but unfortunately that put them out of the race for the small tire so i made it to the second round when i drew chip 1r again exact same chip against jerry racing and i is me and ricky and we're both industrial electricians um, so we showed up there to race in the second round and uh, first pair down. <clears throat> and yesterday morning, I had uh, an, an, a noise in the top end of my motor. It sounded like a rocker arm deal. So I pulled the valve covers and went through my rocker arms. And it, the noise was still there, and I thought it was a lifter. <clears throat> it does have roller lifters, but I thought I had a lifter problem. And so I went in and raced uh against jerry and of course his car is way faster than me so he was all the way down the track and i was still just trying to go and close to the end of the track <clears throat> the truck popped and started missing and i felt like the uh, rocker arms came off and i was like man the freaking rocker arms came off and i was still i said well if it'll make it to the end of the track i'll pull over and check them all out and see what's going on and uh, as i was turning off of the track i looked in the rearview mirror and i noticed smoke and so what was a uh, lifter issue was not a lifter issue oh candy cane died on me and uh let's see if i can get up in here oh, where's that all right so right there <clears throat> that's a wrist pin hanging out of the uh, bottom of this big block <clears throat> so that lifter noise i thought i had was uh was a piston a wrist pin 
<clears throat> I'm assuming, um, you know, it's still in here. I don't know. I know when I pulled over and popped the hood, all the oil was running out on the ground. <clears throat> and uh, so anyway, I've got, a, I've got holes on both sides of the uh, oil pan. So I've got to do a, uh, you know, i got to get this engine out of here eventually. I've got a lot of house projects need to be done now. So here in a few weeks, we'll be tearing the engine out and pulling that oil pan off and see how much damage there is. I'm hoping the heads didn't take too much damage because I know i got a piston that's disintegrated. Hopefully, there are 781 iron heads. Hopefully, they uh, withstood the uh, carnage of that piston coming apart because I really would like to keep the 781s for now. <clears throat> I do have my hands on a couple other big blocks, so I would be going back in with either a um, 396 or another 402 uh, block. <clears throat> and that's the plan. I'll get this back together. Um, I'm getting with another YouTuber there, Streetcar Chronicles, and we're going to talk about a different torque converter because this torque converter is only stalling up to 1800 RPMs. And I need quite a bit more of that than that, so... Uh, we discussed it at at uh, No Name, and we're going to do something on a better torque converter. And I had help with um, Chad from Square Body Stuff. He was able to come down with his Duramax diesel and pull candy cane up on the trailer with a strap. And that kept me from having to push and ratchet the truck up on there. And, and I really appreciate your help, Chad. Um, even though Stumpy didn't come help Dandy work on a truck, you know, and get it back up on the trailer, I appreciate your help, Chad. Uh, Dandy's probably going to be upset that Stumpy didn't show up to help him. But anyway, um, yep, we made it home last night about 10:30 or 11 o'clock from Sykeston. Nothing's been unloaded. The cooler's still in the back. But in the award ceremony. <clears throat> I won the trophy that no one at No Name Nationals wanted. So, they gave me the worst oil down award, which ironically is an oil spigot from years ago for the No Name Nationals 2022 worst oil down award. When John and Dallas announced these trophies uh, a few months ago, this is the one that I, I and I'm sure everyone said, yeah, I don't want that award. Nobody wanted to win this award because it meant that you're going to have to spend a lot of money to uh, fix this award. So at least I won it on the last day in my last race in the fast class that I had no chance at even winning. I just doing it for points. And uh, anyway, I accept it. And it's awesome. Now I can put it on my shelf as... The inaugural No Names National Worst Oil Down Award. There will only be one of these ever given out, the very first one. I did offer it up to Joe with Family's Garage last night I was, as I was leaving. I told him if he'd get in the Z28, hold that baby on the floor until it stopped, he could win that trophy too. And he declined. He said, uh, I'm good. Go ahead. So I got to keep the trophy, but I offered it up to someone else. Um, we will build it back it will be faster than it was it will sound hopefully the same I get hopefully my camshaft is still good I'd like to run this 294 roller cam in my next engine because it sounds really good um, and, it, and it should make great power in the next motor but anyway I appreciate you guys tuning in to the channel and stick around and wait for uh, updates um, and we'll get to work on this. I do have another vehicle for No Name Nationals next year. Candy Cane will be back. I had a lot of people that liked the old truck, and a lot of people uh, um, expressed how much uh, they, they love seeing it on the track and how good it sounds. So Candy Cane will come back again to No Name, no Name Nationals next year. But I'm going to also bring a 65 AMC Ambassador, and I should be building a Pontiac 400 uh, to go in to go in that car and um, it's a boat it's a four-door car um, and it should be a fun car to build so look be looking for that ambassador on the channel and we'll see you on the next one so big block 402 thank you for tuning in and i'm gone <laughs>